Now let us add some points along bold points. So we pick up the bold menu, pick the bold points, pick the bold, and then the points will be added at the bold centers. I'm going to create points along an arc at certain distances. So I got here already the arc points, five points at 100 distances along the arc. So how do I pick that up from points along arc? And I'm going to use, uh, instead of angles, I'm going to use distances here and say apply. OK, so I'm going to pick first point second point and the third point which defines the arc and then the points themselves are at uh, from the last point along that circle so if i go and measure distances distances along the arc let us uh, pick uh, three points along the arc so that's 200 but if i go a simple straight line measurement uh, you will see that uh, it is not 100 because it is 99.96 because it's a straight line. That one is along the arc. Similarly, instead of distances, I can use angles. So I'm going to use this time angles along using three arc points. And I'm going to use four points at 20 degrees. So which is the arc? I'm going to define the arc by three clicks first click second click and the third click that defines the arc and then from then on i put four points so if i measure the angle i go to measure measure angle uh, first point second point third point that's 20 degrees so just point, okay. that's a 20 degrees likewise four segments so one, two, three, four segments. You may go and check for yourself various other options. Uh, these are the various options. Uh, one of these things I could not get it to work. That is tangent to the circle. It gives me a wrong answer. You can check that. Uh, well, you may check all the rest of the things. Some of them may be a little bit difficult. Some of them are very easy. In this video, we are going to uh, examine various construction uh, elements, which is line, plane, circle, arc, polyline, and copy with offset. So a line is pretty simple. It's just a straight line. So you want to create a straight uh, line. Select the line and click two points. Another point and or another point. While we are there, uh, I, I'll introduce you to Suppose you want to draw a horizontal line. Now there is a shortcut here in Tecla. So you click the line. So you click somewhere and then now you want to, this line to go horizontal only. So what you can do is you can lock the Y coordinate by pressing the Y key once. So now the Y key, Y coordinate is locked and I can move the mouse anywhere, but you can see that the Y coordinate stays the same and I can click here, and, but the line is drawn at the same Y coordinate. To unlock the Y, I press Y again. So So I'm going to lock the Y again, Y locked, and you can see that Y is locked. So that's one line, Y is still locked. So this is another line. And uh, from here, I want to draw another line. So the, it's the same Y coordinate. Now to unlock the Y, I press Y again. You can do a similar thing with the X as well. So here I have pressed the X key once and uh, see the X is locked. I can click here another one another one to unlock X I press X again and now it's unlocked you can change the properties of the construction line by clicking on it and then changing the properties I'll change it to say slash lines and also I change the color to let's say yellow and click modify 
and you can see that the color has changed now let me change that back to maybe uh, magenta modify change it to solid line solid line modify and that's it you can also set the property of the uh, construction line to magnetic see normally by default it's not magnetic you can change it to magnetic now to demonstrate that feature I'll have to add some beams or some of the members I will show you that in a moment here I have already uh, changed the property of this construction line to magnetic and I also added a few beams in here the point to note here is if I click on the beam, you can see there are two handles, a yellow handle and a pink handle. We'll come to that later. The important thing to note here is that one of the handle is on that construction line. So if I select on that one, see that's on the construction line. If I select this one, on the construction line. Select that one, that's on the construction line. And this construction line itself is magnetic. Now I'm going to move this construction line vertically up by 100 mm. And uh, look at how these beams behave see that that point is stuck to the construction line and it moves along with the construction line because the construction line is magnetic now let's do a poly curve so I select this poly curve from here start off with the line you can see that what the type of element which we are using right now that's another line, that's another line, then we can go into a tangential curve. So that's a tangential curve, that's another tangential curve. Then it can go to a tangential line, so that's another line, then a non-tangential curve. With the, so that's a non-tangential curve. That's another one, and then to stop it, I press middle button, and you have the construction curve created. So while on this, I will uh, demonstrate the crossing window and full window. To select elements, there are two ways of selecting. One is uh, from left to right. You can select from here. So everything is selected. Suppose I select only part of it. See, that is selected because the center is selected. But this was not selected even though it was included. So let's try again. So let me go here. How partially nothing selected. But if I go from right to left whatever the window is crossing that will be selected so now i can delete it so for example if i zoom in here and select that nothing selected but if i select the center it will be selected uh, this one also so but if i cross from right to left partially selected that will be selected let's create a construction arc so i select the arc select the center one point and then the next point now let's uh, try copy with offset so I select this one so default is 500 I'm going to change it to let's say 2 star 100 and say 3 star 350 and then I'm going to select that one and click this side so and now let me measure that is uh, 100 100 it was 350 350 and 350 you have to go and investigate yourself about uh, various other construction objects here is something which is a plane I'm creating a plane by clicking three points or four points and here is a plane this plane also can be a, a magnetic object. So I turn, turn it around. Select plane switch should be turned on to select the plane. And how do I select the plane? You have to select on the edge. So if I select here, it doesn't get selected. If I select on the edge, it gets selected. Double click it and you can see the properties. Now this is not a magnetic plane. I can change it to a magnetic plane and uh, selecting yes and modify that's magnetic to demonstrate the magnetic plane I just draw a few beams now the main thing is one of the handles has to be on the plane 
So here are some of the beams which I have drawn now. Uh, all of the handles are on the plane. Now let me move the plane by uh, a certain distance uh, from move spatial linear. I put in say 900 here. Interrupt. I'm going to select the plane and then move. And you can see because this is a magnetic plane and uh, the handles are on the plane, uh, you can see the the members also moved. 